For two years now, masks have become a part of everyday life for most folks with health experts saying they are needed if you are in public. But today, the CDC loosened the mask guidelines. It's a big step forward in the fight against COVID. KPRC 2's health reporter, Haley Hernandez, joining us now to break down the new guidelines. So the CDC said on a conference call today that the majority of American counties have low transmission rates. And although the CDC's main concern has been keeping cases low to protect hospital capacity, they say we're in a better position to predict when surges are imminent. And they could always reinstate mask recommendations if there's a surge, but will no longer suggest them all the time. Community levels of disease will not be determined by cases alone anymore. Instead, experts will look at cases leading to hospitalizations and death. The new metric change means transmission is considered low and eliminates the need for most Americans to wear a mask. According to Dr. Linda Yancey, infectious disease doctor from Memorial Hermann and Katy, very few people fall into the category of still needing a mask. If you are going through chemotherapy, you're probably going to want to keep your mask on at all times. So this is all going to be very complicated calculus for people based on what their individual area looks like and what their individual risk tolerance is. CDC Director Rochelle Walensky basically described this move as one that fits an endemic life and passed the crisis stage. We want to give people a break from things like mask wearing when our levels are low and then have the ability to reach for them again should things get worse in the future. The move is just one day after Houston did away with masks for city employees, a welcomed change for some who say Safety depends on good communication. Actually, it's a blessing for our guys because they can get out there now and do the job they're supposed to be doing. Uh, it's easier to, to see a smile when you don't have that mask on. Coincidentally, it was two years ago at the rodeo cook-off, officials discovered the first case of community spread. We've come a long way. We do have vaccines, we have immunity, and everybody has had two years of practice. Everybody out there, you guys are survivors. You know, you've made it through, you know what to do to keep yourself safe. And one quick note, today's change does not include transportation, so you'll still be expected to wear a mask on airplanes. I'll definitely keep you posted when that happens. I know that will please a lot of people. Yeah, a lot Especially of people about that. Especially people with kids. <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah. hard to keep the little ones. Tough so. to get them to keep yeah, on, to right? Yeah, to keep those on. Yes, Haley, thanks.